Today I'll be performing an in-cab inspection and a brake test. The first thing that I want to do is check my seat belt. I have five safety items that I want to check first. Seat belt will be first. Make sure it's not frayed or torn. Make sure that it latches correctly and unlatches so I won't have to cut myself out of it. Make sure that my fire extinguisher is not bent, not broken, not cracked, properly mounted and secure. My pin is in place. It is within date and it is fully charged. <clears throat> I want to make sure that my warning triangles are not bent, not broken, not cracked, properly mounted and secured. You can see that there are three of them inside of the box. Then I'm going to check, make sure that my extra fuses are underneath this panel behind the international sign. Five safety items. Now I'm going to go into my two glass items. I'm going to make sure that my windshield is not bent, not broken, not cracked, it's properly mounted and secured. This is supposed to have stickers on it. I'm going to make sure that none of them are illegal. In this case, they're correct. To make sure that my other glass item, my rear view mirrors are adjusted properly so that I can see out of them and they're not bent, not broken, not cracked, they're properly mounted and secured. I'm going to turn my key into the on position. The first item I'm going to check is my heater and my defrost. So my defrost is working correctly, my heater is working properly. I'm going to hit my left blinker. Make sure that my left blinker is working correctly on the panel. Hit my right blinker. Make sure that it is working correctly on the panel. Hit my bright lights. Make sure that they're working correctly on the panel. My four-way flashers. My home. Then I'm gonna have you get out and check my outside mirrors, I mean outside flashes to make sure they're working. Now we're back inside. I'm gonna perform a safe start. And the first things that I'll be checking are my instrument panel gauges. Safe start, meaning my vehicle's in neutral, my parking brake is engaged, and my wheels are also charged. I want to also know that my ABS light has come on, illuminated, and it has now gone off, letting me know that the ABS light is working and the analog braking system is engaged and is working properly. The first gauge I want to check is my oil pressure. I want to make sure that it is rising or at normal operating range. My transmission temperature, I want to make sure that it is rising or at normal operating range. Same thing with my water and or coolant. Make sure that it is rising or at normal operating range. Give it just a little bit of gas. My RPM gauge is working correctly. My miles per hour gauge, I'm gonna check that later on in the brake test. I wanna make sure that I have enough fuel to make it through a day's work. I wanna make sure that my voltmeter is reading between 12 and 14 volts. I wanna make sure that my secondary and primary air pressure gauges are at normal operating range of 120 to 140 or rising. There goes my governor, it just kicked on, letting me know that it is at 120. Now we'll go ahead and turn the engine off and I will turn the key back to the on position. My gauges have now reached back up to the level that they were, 120 on my um, PSI for my secondary and my primary gauge. Vehicle's in neutral, wheels are chocked. I'm gonna press in my parking brake and I'm gonna wait for one minute and I'm gonna make sure that I don't lose more than two pounds in one minute. That time I'm gonna hold my service brake. I'm gonna make sure that my service brake loses no more than three pounds in one minute. Now I'm gonna to begin to fan the brake. My warning buzzer should come on at 60 PSI and then my parking brakes should pop out between 25 and 40 PSI. There goes that warning buzzer. I'm gonna keep fanning until my parking brake pops out. My parking brake is now popped out. Then I will move on to the next portion of my braking test. To in order to complete that, I will do another safe start. Vehicle in neutral, parking brake engaged. My vehicle is now started. The first thing that I want to check is make sure that my air pressure is rising properly. So once I get up to 85 pounds of pressure, I'm gonna make sure that it gains 85 to 100 in 45 seconds. I will, however, give it a little bit of gas to help me build my air pressure up. So I'm gonna rev the engine from about a, to about 1,000 to 1,200 RPM.
My gauges have reached about 85 PSI. Now I'm gonna begin my count off to 45 seconds and make sure that it ensures that it gets to 100 PSI within the 45 seconds. Okay, we're now at about 100 PSI. Now I'm gonna wait for my governor to kick back on at 120 to complete the rest of my breaking time. That was my governor kicking in at 120 PSI. At this point, I will remove my chalks, do a pool test, and a service break test. My chalks are now safely removed. I'm gonna put the vehicle into the drive position, make sure that my parking brake is still engaged, and I'm gonna rev the engine from about 1,000 to 1,200 RPM to make sure that my parking brake is open. The tug test was good and my vehicle held on the parking brake. Now I'm going to leave it to drive, disengage the parking brake, and I'm going to give it gas to about five miles an hour. And I'm going to slam on my service brakes and make sure that it is not, that if the vehicle is stopping properly and then it's not pulling to the left or the right, which could indicate uneven brake wear. The vehicle stopped properly and it did not pull to the left or the right. That concludes my brake test. Yeah, we got ice in the